From her early years, growing up in the shadow of two world wars and the Great Depression, Mildred Norman displayed a keen intellect and a bold spirit. A progressive young woman for her time, she not only pursued the American dream of marriage and family, but also career. All the while, a conflicting drive grew within her. Mildred was troubled by the lack of peace in the world and by having so much while others had so little. More and more, she began to sense a higher calling. She joined the growing peace movement. Her husband joined the army and their marriage fell apart, intensifying her quest to find her true purpose. She became the first woman to hike the entire 2,000-mile Appalachian Trail, which she accomplished completely on her own. By journey's end, she had discovered her life's mission. On the 1st of January, 1953, Mildred Norman stepped out in front of the Rose Parade, on foot and on faith, Without a penny in her pocket, she began her dramatic 28-year pilgrimage as the woman who came to be known simply as Peace Pilgrim. She, to me, is the epitome of a focused life. I call her the, the 20th century St. Francis of Assisi. And she's a modern-day heroine. She didn't live in the past. But she's a, a woman who lived the path completely. And she just had perfect protection all those years. A woman walking through the desert at night or through the slums of cities, a woman. I thought it was, she was a kook. She was gone. I mean, I didn't, I thought there was something really wrong with this woman. I would have been a disciple, but she made it very clear that she did not want any followers. There was no sham, no pretense. The power of a life like that is incredible. Twenty-five 
thousand miles I shall walk for peace Step by step One mile at a time Across the Mississippi And the Mason-Dixon line State by state And town by town She'd walk across America Till they lay Those weapons have changed a good deal since 1953 but I will say one thing has not changed and that is my peace message it still remains this is the way of peace overcome evil with good and falsehood with truth and hatred with love that's still the message uh, that I'm carrying after all these years well you see we haven't learned to live it yet <laughs> 